Hello out there, YouTube. How's it going today, guys? It is Tuesday, and we're doing okay. Um, how are you guys? Cool. Thanks for answering. Um, <laughs> let's see. Today is some really, really exciting Call of Duty news. Just really quick to bust this out of the way. <clears throat> You're going to be watching a PM9 Moab. I'm not going to really go into the setup all too much. But I really want to talk about this new Call of Duty news. So uh, in case you don't know, there's a big uh, gaming expo thing. I think it's called GameCon in Germany this week. And they will be releasing a lot of information about uh, the new Call of Duty game. Black Ops 2, and you will actually, they will actually be live streaming um, actual pro, pro gamers playing the game online, so you get to see not only really good, really good Call of Duty players perform, but you also get to watch them play the newest Black Ops live before, you know, before anyone knows anything else about it, we get to watch it, it's going to be awesome, I believe it's uh, streaming on Twitch TV. Which I mean, it's just twitch.tv. Uh, so go check that out if you have time. I'm not sure the times. I think it's in the morning, but I'm sure you'll see. You know, I'm sure the people like T Martin and stuff will do a video show, showing it. But anyway, uh, like I said, they've been releasing a lot of uh, information about it. And the subject of ghosts came up. Dun dun dun. Yes. Evil, maniacal, ghost, assassin whatever you want to call it they talked about it they addressed it and David Vondahar who if you don't know who David Vondahar is he is the community manager over at Treyarch the developer of the next Call of Duty and it appears that for long for the first time in a long time they are really listening to the community and they have heard our cries complaining about corner campers and bitches in corners with a uh, ghost or blind eye assassin whatever you want to call it and so in the newest installment of Call of Duty prepare yourself ghost will counter UAV but wait for it build suspense but it will only hide you from a UAV if you are moving so what does that mean? It means people cannot just sit in corners for an entire game and wait for you to walk by. But that also, obviously, that only works if there's a UAV up. So I believe that the UAV will, hands down, be the most used kill streak in this game. Because, you know, obviously, it, I mean, a UAV actually counters campers. It doesn't counter ghosts, but it counters campers. So, that is phenomenal news. Now, there are some thoughts that, you know, maybe maybe you could just, like, walk back and forth in a corner or just, like, move a little bit forward, move a little bit back, and maybe, you know, you won't be detected that way. Let's just hope that either, A, the noobs are too stupid to figure that out, or B, the developers are smart enough to realize that that might happen and uh, not, and somehow code it to where, you know, you have to travel, you know, X amount of feet before, you know, the rule goes into effect. So, um, you know, I cannot tell you how excited I am because now finally the stealth perks will be used for what I believe their intended purpose, which was to rush that way you can flank the enemy you know sneak up from behind and uh, catch him from behind off guard um, you know uh, it's going to be a real rusher's perk which is very 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 exciting I could not be oh man I just as soon as I heard that news I just I just wanted to hop on in game I just wanted to start rushing around like a Batman and so um, at this point in Call of Duty um, you know, stats, you know, I mean, stats really don't mean anything anyway, but, uh, 
you know, you start, you're probably going to start seeing people play to get ready for the next Call of Duty. And so, I mean, I already consider myself a rusher. I feel like I'm very aggressive when I play. And I encourage you guys to do the same because I think you're really going to have to be aggressive in the next Call of Duty. Um, yeah. So, anyway, there you go, guys. I may touch on this later, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.